Masks are shapes that are applied to layers using the pen tool or any of the shape tools. In this tutorial, we're going to use masks applied to layer solids to build a colorful transition. Since the timeline panel is active, all I have to do is press the spacebar to preview the animation. And you can see right around three seconds, I have a hard wipe transition revealing a logo. That's where we want to create our animated colors. So I'll press the spacebar to stop playback and let's scrub with the current time indicator in the timeline until it reaches three seconds, seven frames. This is where I want the transition to start. Let's turn the visibility on for layer four to reveal our purple layer solid. To apply a mask to this layer, we'll select the layer first, then go up to the shape tools and I'll click and hold on my shape tools here, making sure that I'm choosing the rectangle tool. Now I can drag in the composition panel to apply the mask. But before I do that, I'll position my cursor off the upper right edge of my composition, and then I'll press the comma key to zoom out because I wanna make sure the mask covers all edges of this layer. So starting in the upper right area here, I'll click and drag down to the left. And notice as I drag over the composition panel, I'm revealing that purple solid. Since we want the animation to start off the right side of the composition, let's make sure and draw our path off the right side of the composition until it looks something like this. Press M on your keyboard to reveal mask one in the timeline and click on the stopwatch to set our first keyframe for the mask path. I want this animation to be kind of fast. So I'll go to the time and click and type plus 10 to only move 10 frames down the timeline. Press enter to move the current time indicator. And to change the mask shape, I'll go up to my tool panel and make sure I have my selection tool selected. Now, if we go over to the mask, you'll notice all of the points are filled, meaning they're all selected. So if I clicked on one of the points of my mask and started to move it, they'll all move at the same time. I don't want to do that, so I'll just reposition it off the edge here. And I'll deselect all the points by clicking outside of the mask path. And now if I click on one of the points and drag, notice I'm just moving that one independently. I still don't want to do that, so I'll press Control Z on Windows or Command Z on the Mac to undo. If you double click on any of the points, you'll get transform controls. So make sure to double click on one of the points and you'll know you have transform controls when you see these handles in the middle of the masks. So let's hover over this left middle handle until we see the double arrows. Once you see the double arrows, click and drag the mask to cover the entire composition panel. Make sure it goes way off the left edge of the composition. Now let's move 10 frames down the timeline. So click on the time and type plus 10 and press enter to move the current time indicator. We can go back up to the mask path and just double click on any of the points. Since we have our transform controls applied here, now I'll hover over the right middle handle here and click and drag off the left side of the composition. Once I've got it set up, I can press enter to set that last transformation. To preview our animation, I'll move the current time indicator back to the beginning of the timeline and press the space bar. Notice now we have a color that wipes across the scene, which is exactly what I want. But I wanna make this a little more dynamic, so I'll press the space bar to stop playback. If you click on the words mask path in the timeline, all three of the keyframes will be selected. That means when we press Control C on Windows or Command C on the Mac, you'll copy the keyframes. So go ahead and press Control C or Command C to copy the keyframes. Let's move our current time indicator roughly in between the first and the second keyframe. So I'll position mine to about frame 312 and I'll select layer three and turn its visibility on so we see it in the timeline, and I'll press Control V on Windows or Command V on the Mac to paste the mask path. If you press M on your keyboard, you'll see those keyframes that have just been pasted. So to preview our animation, let's move our current time indicator back to the beginning of the timeline and press the space bar. Now you've not only created one mask animation, but two because you've copied and applied the mask keyframes to another layer. So remember, when it comes to applying masks to a layer, it's just a matter of making sure that you have the layer selected before you go up to the tool panel and choose either a shape tool or a pen tool to apply your mask.